Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Candace Swanapole inspired makeup and outfit. So I basically saw an outfit that I posted on my Facebook page, I'll link it below. But it's a really pretty outfit for a party and I thought I would show you a Candace Swanapole inspired makeup to go with it. So it's focused on really glowing, dewy, um, luminous skin, so I thought I would show you how to achieve that. So I'm going to go deeply into how to get the skin look, but then go a little bit faster and finish the makeup so you can just see how to finish off the whole look. I guess I'll get started, I hope you guys like it. To start out I'm going to prime my skin. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Now this primer is suitable for all skin types. It has a satiny finish and it also conceals redness, um, fills in or sort of eliminates the appearance of lines and pores. Um, also it acts as a water repellent for anything that you put on top of it. So when I put my foundation on it will be water repellent. Um, it's very satiny so it absorbs oil. It's great for oily skin. So that's that, but it also, as you can see, looks nice and luminous. Now I'm going to apply my L'Oreal Nude Magique foundation. I really like this foundation because, again, it's got a satiny finish, but it's very, very um, thin. So when you apply it to your skin, it doesn't look like a mask, it doesn't look cakey, it really blends into the skin. So shaking up this, and then going to dot it over my face quite a bit. The delivery system on this isn't my favourite. Um, I wish it had like a little pump or something but the product itself is really good. It's a dupe for Giorgio Armani Maestro, which is, as you know, probably one of my favorite foundations. Then going to use this brush from Ray Morris to blend it all in. This brush is great because it's very quick and um, swift at applying the product while buffing it in very well to the skin. Now I'm going to use this concealer by Napoleon Purtis. I like this one because it's basically got three different shades in there of different undertones and different deepness or lightness to create a customized shade for me. And just pat that over the little areas that are a bit discolored or blemished. And then I'll dab it in with my finger just for that natural finish. Now what I'm going to do is set my foundation with the Hourglass Ambient Dim Light Powder. Now this product is a powder that is supposed to or claims to mimic the look of certain flattering lights. It make it appear that your skin is currently under a flattering light such as dim light. So it's a beautiful look, I don't know if you can already see the difference, but it pretty much just makes my skin appear like there's no pores. Which is weird because I definitely, definitely have pores. They're quite large. Not dissimilar to the Grand Canyon in the United States of America. Now I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to do that with my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow which is easily my favorite brow product at the current moment. It's just like this little gel. For this I'm using this angled brush by Yves Saint Laurent. Here's the product. So I've now got some on the brush and I'm just going to use quite quick little strokes to blend that into my brows. Now I use the color 15 because it matches my hair. And I like this because it's not a seriously opaque product. When you're working with your brows, you want your product to be quite faint so that when you draw it on, you don't have, you know, text of eyebrows. I'm going to try my best to reduce the drastic sort of arch that I have naturally. So I put more product there and more product there, which will flatten my brow out a little bit. What else I'm going to add is my Benefit Gimme Brow. This is like a fiber brow gel that really thickens up your brows. What I like about this is that it makes the hairs look more... It makes me look like I've got more brow hairs. So I'm going to use this to position some of the hairs over where I've drawn on my actual skin. Just so it looks a bit more natural. So you don't see as much of the gel on the skin. So here at the head where I've drawn on my skin, like I said a second ago, I'm just brushing some hairs over that so it looks much more natural and then here at the arch I'm just going to bring some hairs down over this product is must 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 have and that is the finished look to the brows so they're quite a bit thicker but Candace has thicker eyebrows all right now on to my eyes I'm going to now prime my eyelids with the Bobbi Brown bone cream eyeshadow The palette I'm using is this Bobbi Brown palette. This is the Nectar and Nude eye palette. It's got to be one of the only eye palettes that actually contain colors that I'm going to use all in one go. I'm just going to start out with the Shimmery Champagne shade through the center of the eye. 
Applying this product to the center of my eye will mean that the center of my eyelid is going to catch the light and bring it forward slightly. I'm then going to take, so I just use this shade, now I'm going to take this beige color and apply it to the inner corner and blend it in. Take a mixture of both the shimmery shades, pat it under the brow, blend it out. Then using this shade, a medium shade, I'm going to apply it to the outer third and sweep it through the socket. And that's just going to create a bit of depth to the eye. Then I'll take the darker shade of brown and use that just on the outer V. Doing that adds even more depth if you can see. Sort of brings my eye back a little bit there. Whereas this one looks kind of bulbous. <laughs> now that's depressing. Now I'm going to take the black colour on a little flat shader brush. This one's by Sigma. And what I'm going to do with that is just use it to smudge into the outer third of the eye. What this actually does is it makes my lash line look a bit higher. So I'm going to get that Candace Swanepoel lift to the outer edge of my eye. Now what I'm going to do is take MAC. Uh, what's this called? Soft and Gentle, which is the most epic highlighter in the world. I'm going to use a fan brush for this to pick up minimal product. Then just smile and as I look into the light I can see where the light's hitting. And the natural curvature of the brush, I'm going to follow that up the cheek like this. Bring it from the cheek is going to give my cheeks a nice rosy apple or full appearance. And as you know, Candace has got quite full supple cheeks. <laughs> I'm also going to run that down the nose again. I'm going to use my finger to get it on the little ridges of that skin that joins my nostril <laughs> to the cupid's bow of my lip. Then I'm going to use a bronzer. This is the Bourjois Maxi Delight bronzer, so it's really big. I'm going to use that on this little Ray Morris brush on the underside of my cheeks. I'm going to use that quite sparingly on the side of my forehead because I've got a mighty big forehead so I'm just going to try to trim it down a little bit. My forehead needs to go on a diet. And I almost forgot my mascara. This is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eyes Mascara. I love this one so much. It's got a very fluffy wand. So it really grabs all the lashes. This is a mighty good mascara. Highly, highly rate it. My lips, I'm going to use my number 7 Natural Lip Pencil. Sorry, Perfect Lips Pencil in Nude. Oh, it's finished. Ooh, that's infuriating. I don't know if you can see that, but the product extends all the way down to there. But I won't be able to get it out. <laughs> Why? I'm going to use my number 7 lip pencil. I need to get another one of these. The lip gloss that I'm using is this beautiful peach shade from Hourglass. It's called Child. It's a weird name. It's a bit disturbing. I'm going to put Child on my lips. Mmm, this Child smells good. This Hourglass lip gloss is one of their Extreme Sheen lip glosses. So it's a really high gloss. And I find these very hydrating so my lips don't crack. Kind of work similar to a lip balm. It's similar to Revlon Bellini, which I also love. Now onto blush. This is like an hourglass party. I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Blush in Dim Infusion. So same sort of thing as the dim light um, powder that I applied. It's mixed with that and some colour. So I'm going to get that effect to my cheeks. It's beautiful. Makeup by Tiffany D did a review on these and that's why I was so keen to get some. Mm, cherubs are singing for my cheeks right now. See the difference? No? This is the finished makeup look. Now I'm going to put some earrings in. These are by Rachel Zoe. And for some reason they remind me of Candace. So that's the earrings. My hair, I did a high ponytail. I just wrapped some of my own hair around it and pinned it in with a bobby pin. I'm also going to put my watch on. This is the gold Karl Lagerfeld watch with the Roman numeral 7. And then this is just a gold chain. I think it's from... No, it is. It's my Thomas Sabo chain. That I actually have charms that go on it, but recently I've been wearing it like this. 
um, I put a little knot in it and then it sits like this so it's really pretty. Now this is just a singlet top because with my PJs I'm going to get changed into the outfit so you can see. As I said this outfit is inspired by something Candace Swanepoel wore, I think it was recently but I can't be sure. I chose a slim signature blouse by Equipment so it's a silk white blouse and this bag is a C by Chloe bag. It was a gift so I don't know if you can get it anymore. The shorts are from ASOS and I got them on sale. I was so happy with those. They were literally like $20. I thought I was going to have to spend heaps to get something like Candace but I didn't. The heels I'm wearing are Saint Laurent Jane sandals. They're very similar but not the exact same as to what Candace was wearing. And that's the outfit. So I hope that you guys liked this video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments. Don't forget to check out the inspiration picture on my blog and on Facebook. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.